touch on very many issues. Um, would we like to designate Green Square Park as a place we would like to occupy? Obviously, this has been where we've held our first meeting. Or are there any other ideas as far as other places that might be better for an occupation? I think we should open it up to debate just to make sure everybody is okay with whatever is decided. Yes. I think since we have a permit until Monday for Green Square Park, that it's occupied as park. Um, are there any reasons to not like it that I want to take up? Um, do you have a response? The only thing I would say is just, I'm not going to be occupying because I don't live here, obviously, but, uh, um, Plaza Park is, uh, pretty cool. It's on Mays Island, and so I just thought it's on an island right between the two, the former, uh, federal courthouse and whatever else there is. Talking about that one, but there's not a lot of space there, so there wouldn't be a lot of space for tables and such. Yeah. And it's not that comfortable. But yeah, it is visible from the interstate. Yeah. Just something to think about. Um, I had initially liked the idea of Plaza Park as well, um, only because I I don't know if anybody has gone to I don't know who knows is this a city park Green Square Park yeah. because yeah. it's not on the Google Maps as a park or it, it, it's not there you see. Liberty or whatever Park Plaza, and that was there, and it's wedged between City Hall. Just like he said, I thought that it make a particular interesting statement, perhaps, to, to our local government, uh, just being there and camped out uh, on a permanent basis. I don't know how many people we're going to have ongoing to be able to occupy. Everybody has lives. Um, the movement generates more interest. Uh, hopefully, you can have you know tens and perhaps more uh, groups of people staying out on a regular basis, kind of rotating. Um, but uh, do we want to decide, uh, perhaps until Monday, occupy Green Square and then decide at a future point if we want to um, consider another location? Is that everybody? Um, is that consensus? Okay. Well, okay. good. Um, anybody else want to speak? Um, we had a, a proposal, I guess, to get together and make signs. Is that interesting for everybody else? Are we going to protest today? I guess that would be my question. Are we planning to protest today? And, and if so, uh, where? Protest what are we? What? Yeah. Or, or what? Do we want to have a conversation because, about that, maybe? Yeah. Let's have a let's have a let's take a break and then have a uh, another meeting about what kind of targets we could protest. Like this. Okay, we have a, a comment here. Yeah, just write your protest then. ideas right here on the board. Okay, and then, sir, you have something? Okay. <laughs> Anybody else have anything to say? All right, I'll, I'll say again. Um, I'm Shane. If you haven't introduced yourself, we'd like to hear your voice, your name, where you're from. What you're what you're interested in doing here, accomplishing at this meeting? Have one. Okay, I'm sorry. My name is Ruby, and um, I don't really know a lot about politics. I'm 16, so it's like not a really big interest to me. But I don't think that you really need to be like extremely aware of what's going on just to be able to see that these things are not right. Okay, we got a hand, I'm sorry. My name is Mom! Mom! Sorry. I have been in protest many, many, many years ago. I also do that. And one thing we would do then is march. You get Mike check. a lot. You get a lot more attention if you're out there. And my thought was, you know, hey, what about Wells Fargo? Especially if you were located down there, very close. Anybody want to respond to that? Yeah, I agree with her. I think sitting around talking is real nice, but doesn't get a whole lot of attention. I think that's the main reason a lot of us are here.
draw a little more attention to the whole thing. I mean, people are going to see more when we're out and about, and that's going to get the attention. I mean, we're all here basically for the same reason. All right, I guess uh, we have another uh, proposal that we uh, begin a protest march on our own. T is this for today, then? We'd like to see this like today. I like the idea of uh, the park and whatnot, but I mean, even just around the park itself here, where there's more activity. Does anybody have a Wells Fargo account? Um, okay, well, you already heard my idea. <laughs> Um, somebody told me on Thursday that we should get together. Anybody who has a Wells Fargo bank account has to go withdraw their money. We can like, go in there to make room, withdraw all their money, and then go and put it in a credit union account. And you can first just make like a YouTube video saying that you're going to do that and give it to the press. Um, but I don't know if, it's, if it makes quite such a statement. It's just one person. It's one or two people. I've been with the cutting No comments? Do we have consensus that, well, should we decide we're going to protest this today? I, I guess a lot of the other movements today are, what is it that they're doing? Does anybody know there are other protests going on worldwide today? Anybody know about that? I know today in Denver they're marching on banks and they're uh, withdrawing. That's what I've seen too. Yeah, Peter Yeah, Rome had some problems. They were actually attacking. Yeah, I read about that. Okay, point of process. If you have a comment, if it's directly related, we're going to try to use the signal. I'm trying to do my best. Uh, this is direct response. Points if you want to respond directly to what the person has just said. If you have a new topic you want to move on, discuss another issue, put your hand up and we'll try to add you. Um, I wish we had name tags, it would be easier. Okay. Sure, yeah. okay. okay, so the protest and the withdrawing of money, was that from all national banks or just Wells Fargo? Oh, yeah, you mean, I think yeah. it was just Wells Fargo today. Okay. In Denver, anyway. I don't speak for anyone else. Okay, uh, woman, I'm sorry, in the blue coat, and then woman with the scarf, okay. I think it depends on where they're at. I think they picked a large bank in whatever area they were to go to, and some place to put the emphasis on. Okay, woman with the scarf. Uh, I was going to say that if you have a specific bank, if nobody else notices you, the bank will. And so I think we do have to have very specific financial institutions, institutions that are in charge of the control of, of those things that we are most concerned about. If we're in a park, everybody can say they're not talking about me. If we're in front of Wells Fargo or if we're in front of U.S. Bank or whatever, the people who run that particular financial institution know that you're out there in front of their building. Okay, we have a direct response from the gentleman in red. Uh, Speaking directly to what she said, when I withdrew my money from Wells Fargo in 2003, they sure as hell noticed. They uh, did everything they could to get me to leave my money in their bank, including telling me the credit union across the street would not allow me to cash my checks the same day. Uh, Wells Fargo, I would go in after 4 o'clock on a Friday and didn't have access to my money until Tuesday because it wouldn't be deposited until the end of the next full business day. They use that money, they give it out in large, very high interest loans, and I wanted my money. They want every little bit of it that they can get, because even $400 means a lot when they've got thousands and thousands and thousands of $400 checks. But they noticed, and they lied directly to my face, saying, you won't be able to cash your check across the street. I put my money in the credit union across the street, that's where it's still at, and they do cash my check on payday.
Okay, we have a, a direct response from... I agree with what he's saying. People need to understand checking accounts are one of the most profitable things for any bank. They pay basically no interest to use your money overnight or whatever on a higher profit. That's one of those problems. They don't want to lose checking accounts. I don't care how it looks like. Okay, you oh, I'm sorry. Well, I do know that from what I've been reading that uh, the withdrawing your money from large financial institutions is an excellent active action step. And again, only from what I've been reading, credit unions get very high marks uh, as places for the 99% to put their money. Uh, and if you think about the 99%, if we all took out our money and put it into a local credit union or a local small town bank, uh, you know, then that's a very, very different thing than the Bank of America or Citibank. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to say what you're saying about giving our money to institutions to use it, and you're talking about one bank. Think about the federal government. I've been paying Social Security for 35 years, and they're using my money, and anybody that says I'm not entitled, or you're not, or you're not, <laughs> 10 years from now, forget it. So look at the big picture when you're talking about the use of other people's money. Okay, so, uh, gentlemen over here, I have a sponsor. I think what a lot of people may not understand, I mean, most of you are probably... Hi, Chuck! I think what a lot of people don't understand, and some probably here do, but I think part of the reason that the, the bank movement today is being implemented is people don't understand the difference between the credit union and the bank. The bank is privately owned, they do investments that make money for themselves. The credit union is owned by its members. If you're not a customer of a credit union, you're a member. You vote. Uh, I bank with USA, it's a veterans organization. They are uh, classified as a bank, but their members vote on all the business dealings of that bank. But close to credit unions you can get without being credit union. And what better way to show exactly what this is about than to say, you don't get our money, you don't get to make decisions with our money, you don't get to invest in these corporations and politics versus here I can put my money and we as a group can do something and there our voice is heard. Okay, well, we had a direct response over here, I think. I, I'm one of the people who uh, have never used a credit union. Do you not have to be some sort of um, accessible type of member or something to, to use one? No. No. Okay. Uh, Open to everybody. Sorry. Heather. Heather. <laughs> You do not. And actually, uh, there are quite a few credit unions to choose from. Um, I've had good luck with mine, but by all means, I encourage everybody to do your own research. Uh, community First Credit Union is right there on the corner. Um, there's Meridian Credit Union, Lynn Area. You do have plenty of options in this area, but by all means, do your research. See which one is going to work best for you. But you do have plenty of I know you're... Everybody else who goes in to Okay, so a gentleman over here was... Okay, go ahead. We, my wife and I are... Can you be behind the website or the social network? Balance in I...